We created the AVI Japan Opportunity Trust in 2018. And we did so because we felt there were an increasing number of attractive investment opportunities in Japan. Initially, we incubated the idea within our Global Investment Trust. And after a year or so of successful investment, we launched the dedicated AVI Japan Opportunity Trust, or AJOT as it's commonly known. We're looking for companies that are undervalued. And specifically, we're interested in companies that have accumulated a large amount of surplus net cash that sits idly on their balance sheet, because we think those kind of companies are the most inefficiently priced by the market. There have been many undervalued companies in Japan for years, but the reason we launched AVI Japan Opportunity Trust was because things were starting to change, and they started to change after Prime Minister Abe came into power. Those policies are now known as Abenomics, and they consisted of three arrows. The first, targeted monetary policies. The second, fiscal stimulus. And the third, a range of structural reforms that are most relevant to AJOT. As part of that third arrow, shareholders were encouraged to become more proactive and to engage with the management of those companies that they were invested in. And that was the opportunity that we saw to launch AJOT, to identify good quality, undervalued companies, to act as an engaged shareholder and to encourage management of those companies to introduce and implement policies and measures that would boost shareholder returns. So our portfolio is invested in a variety of companies across the Japanese economy. We have investments in the world leading manufacturer of graphic pens used in smartphones and animation. And we also have companies that manufacture fire engines and elevators and escalators. The research process at AVI is very intensive. We spend a lot of time trying to understand the businesses that we're investing in and getting to know the management and leadership of those companies. And although inevitably they'll face challenges and headwinds, we're looking for the companies that are gonna survive and prosper through those challenges and deliver strong returns for us over the long term. There are two factors that differentiate AJOT from other investment trusts investing in Japan. Firstly, we're entirely focused on companies that have got large amounts of surplus net cash sitting on their balance sheet. And the second differentiating factor is that as shareholders in these companies, we will proactively engage with management of those companies, sometimes publicly, in order to try and get them to change their strategies and their policies to deliver stronger returns for shareholders. Not all shareholders are comfortable with the idea of being a shareholder activist in Japan. When we launched AJOT, it was myself and my colleague Daniel Lee, based here in London, traveling to Japan to meet with companies and using interpreters to help us understand what was going on in those meetings. But over the last couple of years, we've expanded the team dramatically. We now have four Japanese nationals working alongside us, three of those based in London and one based full-time in Tokyo. What excites me about AJOT is that we're doing something unique. We're not simply investing in companies and watching the share price go up or down. We're actually doing a lot of work, trying to understand those businesses and trying to work in partnership with the management of those companies to deliver long-term value. And that is really exciting and intellectually stimulating as well. First and foremost, AJOS is an investment trust that has an objective of achieving capital growth. So one of our main ambitions is to deliver strong returns for all our shareholders. In addition to that, as a proactive investor, engaging with our companies intensely, we want those companies to be successful and to be good places for Japanese employees to work at.